cash dividends. When you are a stockholder of a company and the company makes a profit or has a net income, many times those stockholders are looking forward to their share of the profits. And those profit, that sharing of the profits comes in the form of dividends. Specifically, we're going to talk about cash dividends. Some corporations have cash dividends. Other corporations never pay cash dividends. It all depends upon if the board of directors votes for a cash dividend to be declared. Now, there's three dates that are very important. The first date is the date of declaration. And on the date of declaration, the board of directors votes that if you own a share of stock, you're going to get so much dividend per share. And so that's the date of declaration. Usually, they then issue a press release once the stock market closes. Because as soon as you declare a dividend, guess what happens to your stock price? It goes up by the amount of the dividend. So the date of declaration. The date of record then comes a bit later. And the date of record says, uh, if I um, am in charge of keeping track of who are the stockholders of this corporation, the date of record is when I make the list and check it twice to make sure who's getting the dividend. So everybody who owns stock as of the date of record gets the dividend. Guess what happens to the stock price the day after the date of record? Well, the dividend, uh, the stock then is X dividend. Doesn't get a dividend anymore. So what happens to the stock price? It goes down. So sometimes you'll look in the paper and you'll see something with a big X next to it. And that means it's X dividend, meaning the date of record has passed. The date of payment is when the corporation sends out the checks and the stockholders get the, the checks in the mail. So let's take an example and record the entries for the date of declaration, the date of record, and the date of payment. And we're going to look at exercise 7. And in exercise 7, it says that this corporation secured the authority for the from the state for 100,000 shares of $10 par value common stock. So that's the number of shares authorized. It has 80,000 shares issued and 70,000 shares outstanding. Hmm, what's the difference between the issued shares and the outstanding? Treasury stock. So we have 10,000 shares in the Treasury. And you know what? Only the outstanding stock gets the dividend. So Treasury stock doesn't get the dividend. So when we look at dividends here, we're only dealing with the outstanding shares, which are 70,000 shares. And it says that on June 5th, the Board of Directors declared a 50 cent per share cash dividend to be paid on June 25th. So June 25th is the date of payment. And this is June 5th is the date of declaration, and the date of record is June 15th. So what entries are we going to make? Well, on the date of declaration, we're going to debit uh, an owner's equity account called dividends, or we could also just debit retained earnings. And we're going to credit a current liability called dividends payable. For the number of shares, and how many shares were outstanding? You're right, 70,000 times a 50 cent per share dividend. So that's debit dividends or retained earnings 35,000, credit dividends payable 35,000. So that's on the date of declaration. On the date of record, there is no entry, no journal entry, because all we're doing on the date of record is making the list and checking it twice to make sure who's getting the dividend checks. On the date of payment is when we cut the checks and mail them out. And so we're going to be debiting dividends payable. So that current liability account, 
goes away. And crediting, you got it, cash for 35000 So those are the three important dates when we have a cash dividend.